بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية تمام كامل مقسام الدوانية قسم اللغة الإنجليزية مرحلة الثالثة مادة TDLT استاذ محمد حسين بدري Today we are going to talk about giving instructions how to give instructions okay the way we give instructions is another aspect of meaning or managing sorry managing a class room okay so it is worth taking time to consider how we can make our instructions clear and at the same time I provide opportunities through the, the instructions for students to interact in meaningful ways. So how to provide students with instructions inside the class. This is very important, giving instructions. Okay. So here we have this paragraph, short paragraph. We, we have this here details. How to give instructions. Some ways to give instructions. Okay. They are very important. Okay? They are very important. Some ways to give instructions. What are the ways that the teacher uses to give instructions to students? What are they? They are the following. These ways. Number one, writing down instructions and giving them verbally. Okay? Either the teacher writes down Write down the structure, structure can speak about the instruction or he can just write the instructions on the whiteboard or now for example on the internet, okay, on the class I can write the instructions, you have to do this and this, you have to answer this and this, okay. Number two, giving instructions verbally and role playing them, you can use what role playing showing the students what they are to do you have to do this and you have to do this number three having a student or a student read the instructions read instructions inside the class come for example come x reads the instructions then having a student or two paraphrase them to the class okay they paraphrase them to the class Number four, writing down the instructions, letting the students read them silently, read them silently, read the instructions, read instructions here we mean notes, notes that are given by the teacher that the students should follow. Then having them tell you what you expect from them, okay? You give them, for example, five instructions and then tell the students, now you know what do what do I want from you? Do you know or not? They will say yes. You want this. You want this. You want this. To see whether they understand or not. Dictating instructions, then having the students check each other's dictations. The student can check each others. Okay, miming the instructions as the students guess, expect what they are supposed to do. Miming, you know, mime. Without speaking, mime, whispering, miming and whispering, yes. Miming it means just by using minds without speaking, using lips. And whispering, you whisper. Whispering the instructions as students name. Forward, forward, in their seats. Then having students. Repeat instructions to the person next to them in a whisper. Okay? Yeah, yeah, that, that is it, the teacher. And this way, this is whispering. The teacher wants this. And, uh, you see, here, this is what we mean by whisper. And this way, what? It is whispering. So these are the instructions. Okay? When you become a teacher in the future, you can have these ways that you can follow inside the class your instructions as far as your instructions can set another important point is what keeping students on task how to keep students on task you have, for example students are given a task i mean the teacher gives his students a task okay question a task an issue that should be discussed Okay, you, ha you have this task uh, inside the class, you have to work on 
this task individually uh, in a group we talked about different types okay different types that we can use in a group uh, individually okay uh, remember in second stage you have these kinds of uh, tasks so even even now now on classroom we have this you are given a task I ask you for one or two days to finish uh, this task so when working or, or, or when, I mean when students working on a class on task sorry or keeping how to keep them on task how to keep them on tasks teachers can group students okay we talked about this teachers can what group students provide activities number one group students provide activities explore ways to give instructions just we have just mentioned this but this is not always enough to keep students on task so what do we need to keep students on task in, in, in addition some teachers believe that keeping students on task is an important part of providing students with opportunities for the meaningful instruction so number four providing students with opportunities with chances for meaningful interaction okay so number one group students provide activities explores or explore ways to give instructions and number four what provide students with chances with opportunities for meaningful interaction you see however this is not always easy sometimes it's not easy okay even when the students know what to do for example as a great number of experienced EFR ESL teachers those who have experience can point out while working on tasks in smaller groups students will sometimes have their own discussion on matters so there are problems sometimes with this when you give students a task and the students have time have chance opportunity to work on this ta task there is a problem here the teacher said those even the teacher ex he said pointed point out me said that what when sometimes sometimes imagine imagine now you, all of you are students imagine now imagine yourself when sometimes the teacher give you uh, a task when the teacher ask you a question asks you a question okay and for example tells the teacher tells you that you have uh, 10 minutes you have one hour close he uh, for example he gets away from you or close closes the door and gets out of the class imagine what what do you do what do you do she so many of commissar to hon or sabeed to tip shitan what do you do you get like students teacher lahadaw they observe they point out they say that sometimes what teachers uh, students have their own what discussions on matters unrelated to the task unrelated يعني يشوفون يروحون يشوفون على شيء ثاني مثلا they talk about the task من الاستاذ راح يقول له ها شكو شنو ماكو شلون انت شفت فلان شوف فلان باوع فلان ايش لابس باوع كذا هذا كذا so they they usually they usually what talk or sometimes they talk about unrelated so this is a problem okay The writer now, the writer here says what I have no problem with this. Why? Because the discussion, if the discussions are in English, okay. But we hope so. But it is not in English. However, sometimes what students use what their native language during group or their work to work. to work through the task to, or talk about something else okay so we have two problems here in, in, in brief in a brief here we have two problems 
if we give situations in the high level, if we provide situations with opportunities for meaningful interaction, we have two problems. If we give them task, first the problem is that what situations talk about unrelated, unrelated matters, something unrelated to the task. Number two, they speak what native their native language. They speak Arabic. For example, you start speaking Arabic, not English. Okay. So here we there are things we can do to keep students on task. How to keep them on task, which is the title here of our topic. How to keep the students on task. How to keep them on task. Yes, we can keep students. On task here by doing certain things okay I will explain this then I will explain the boys the instructions themselves can be important we talked about this some educators believe that students tend to begin working on a task sooner and work towards its completion when it is clear to them what the task involves okay so it, what is it, it's very important when when the task is clear but an assignment when the assignment is clear the question is clear of course the students quickly they quickly what answer reply or work or complete the task okay Setting a reasonable time limit for the students to accomplish the task may also keep them on task. Okay, we can make the students. We can keep them, keep your students on task by what limit the time. We will explain them here. We'll Just this details. I explain this is because they are important to, to, to understand more. For example, here if the students know they cannot possibly finish the task. Here, limit time. Okay, if you as a teacher, limit your t limit time for students like me. I limited time for you. I give you time for assignment two days ago, and I told you that it will finish on Sunday. Today is Sunday, so it will finish on Sunday. So in this way, uh, you have two days. So time is enough. Time is good. But uh, here, be careful. Don't give limit time. I mean, your your time should not be very limited. For example, you may give twenty questions to students. To them, big class, twenty questions. Long reading. To them, long reading passage. In th thirty minutes. 30 minutes you have to answer this Stu of course they students may stop working on the task like that we cannot cannot work on task the students cannot work on this task okay so you should be careful when limit time when you give or when you limit time number two one thing that works for me here number two for, for here the, the the writer the writer of this book what tell us his what his experience it, will, it works for me is to require an oral or written robot I agree with him okay it is working with us oral or written robot as a part of the task okay you give them task then tell them that you have to read the task orally or you have to write, write what write a report okay for example if a group task was assigned to identify for example you give the students uh, to, to identify the traits the characteristics of good students tell me okay each group of students would be what required to write these traits on the board toward the end of the lesson 
If the task was to write a dialogue, the students will be expected to act out or read it to the class. Okay, so to put it simple, you know, for example, when you give students a task, you tell them to write a report or read it aloud. For example, you ask the students, to, for example, write about the characteristics of good student, of a successful college student. Okay, either you tell them to write a report or to read it in a dialogue. If they put it in a dialogue, they can read it to, to keep them on a task. Finally, the teacher needs to stay out of the way. To stay out of the way, yani, to be away, to be away from his students. We will explain them here. So in summary, شوف اللي خص لك يا. Okay. شوف هسه ده كل الشرح يعطيك يعني كل in summary. أنت دائما طلاب هاي نصيحة لك إنه دائما أنت تشتغل في هالطريقة. اقرأ يعيدك تفهم تفهم عن ليش نسوي لك بهالطريقة. ليك تقرأ تقرأ كل المادة تفهمها. الدور تطي in summary. What do you understand? Summarize. عندك ورقة وقلم خلي سجل واكتب لخص. حتى هذا يبقى وياك من تنام تصير استاذ هو وياك يبقى نفسه ترجع له انت شلون تجي تعطي انستركشنز شلون تروح تروح لهذا الكتاب ترجع له شلون تعطي انستركشنز تريد تصنف الطلاب تقول انا شلون اصنفهم ناسي تروح للكتاب السجل مالتك تخليه تحتفظ به تلخصه بايدك باقلام قلم احمر ازرق اخضر وتشتغل عليه بهالطريقه if you want to be a successful English teacher in the future you can do this so in summary, here are suggestions for keeping students on task. This is what in sum. Give clear instructions. Make sure that the students will know what the goal of the task is. Let students know that you expect them to say to stay on the task. Okay. Have students work on task. That students that interest them. Okay, have the students work on the tasks that interest them. Give them a topic which what which interests them. May it, it, it is for example funny, uh, it is so interesting. Have students work on task tasks that can accomplish in a set of amount of time. We talked about this. Let students know how much time they have left to complete the task. Uh, they work on it okay tell them for example that you have for example 15 minutes you have this one question this question can be answered in five minutes five minutes give them 10 minutes okay like now assignment can be in one or two hours I give you two days the quiz in, in in 10 minutes I give you half an hour you have to give this time Okay, you can make it even 20 minutes in this way. Appoint students to take on roles. For example, as recording secretary, timekeeper, disc or discussion leader. Give them roles. Your role was recording secretary. You are type timekeeper. You are discussion leader. It's the leader. Malhai group. Le the final one, let the students or students work on the task. Let the students work on task. Hi, Mulakas Akhir Nakhtashufa Hnane. Hi, get six to seven. I said, Well, you can work in, or you can even summarize and work on uh, all the book in this way. So, let the students work on the task. Let the students work on the task okay don't interrupt without first considering your purpose let them work that's why we said what keep away from them St stay away keep away from them the, some teachers go for example students are working they they go to, to them they interrupt them they they what you see here interrupt students okay don't interrupt them. 
let sometimes it is not good let them work unless you are ask it okay the kruma hatani when i give when i gave you some instructions about reading okay about something you have to some paraphrase i just I, keep, I kept myself away i stayed away unless ask it by students see don't interrupt without first considering your purpose unless there is purpose that's why you interrupt i interrupt because i have purpose for example let the students ask for your input okay let students ask for you your input for information for knowledge from you don't interrupt them let them work okay. let them work students have minds students can work students are good they have mind they can work uh, they, they can think you have to make them think they are not passive uh, receivers rather they are active you should be active or producers okay not act but passive receivers rather than active producers okay i will finish with the, this today okay, because it's very important i have i want to talk about more and more but no i will i will just finish with this because they are very important these points are very very important thank you so much and if you have any question you can ask